what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? R. Kelly has been accused of brainwashing at least two aspiring female singers in his homes in Chicago and Atlanta. BuzzFeed News reports that investigators spoke to family members of both women who said that Kelly preyed upon the women using physical and verbal abuse. The BuzzFeed report alleged that Kelly keeps at least six women, all of legal age, on a pair of his properties. There he dictates what they eat, how they dress, when they bathe, when they sleep, and how they engage in sexual encounters, which he reportedly records. The women must adhere to a certain set of rules or face punishment. Kelly allegedly issues the women new cell phones, and any communication with their parents is considered a breach of the rules. In many cases, the women have to cut off all communications with their families, the report says. One woman who was once a member of Kelly's entourage confirmed the report. You have to ask for food. You have to ask to go to the bathroom. Kelly is a master at mind control. He is a puppet master, she said of the singer. In total, three women who were former members of Kelly's inner circle contributed to the report. R. Kelly is the sweetest person you will ever want to meet, said Asanta McGee, one of Kelly's former employees. But Robert is the devil. Kelly's birth name is Robert Kelly. R. Kelly has not responded to the allegations. His Chicago lawyer, Linda Minch, responded to BuzzFeed in an email writing, we can only wonder why folks would persist to defame a great artist who loves his fans, works 24 seven, and takes care of all the people in his life. He works hard to become the best person and artist he can be. It is interesting that stories and tales debunked many years ago turn up when his goal is to stop the violence, put down the guns, and embrace peace and love. I suppose that is the price of fame. Like all of us, Mr. Kelly deserves a personal life. The new report details how Kelly preys upon aspiring singers by offering to help them with their careers. What begins as a professional relationship turns sexual over the course of clandestine phone calls and text messages, the report says. Over time, the women end up living in one of Kelly's homes. In one case, a woman dropped out of a Georgia college and took up residence with other entourage members in Kelly's suburban Atlanta house. In the case of the two families that spoke to BuzzFeed, the women themselves rebuffed multiple welfare checks by authorities. Because the young women are over the age of consent, the families say they are hamstrung in their attempts to reunite with their daughters. I have not talked to my daughter in more than a year, one of the mothers said. We've had deaths in our family, birthdays, and I haven't heard from her, and she hasn't been here for any of it. I didn't even hear from her on Mother's Day. All I want to do is bring her home. A rep for R. Kelly told TMZ this, Mr. Robert Kelly is both alarmed and disturbed by the recent revelations attributed to him. Mr. Kelly unequivocally denies such accusations and will work diligently and forcibly to pursue his accusers and clear his name. All right, y'all. I must have missed the whole part about abducting and drugging the women. Come on, man. Now, I know for the people out there who hate R. Kelly, any type of support R. Kelly get, I know y'all going to be just tripping. But come on, man. Fair is fair. Right is right. Wrong is wrong. This sounds like to me, the people at BuzzFeed, they got it in for Kelly. I remember when the whole thing about the pornography and all that stuff came out. They was after him then. They did a scathing report on him then. And they've been riding him ever since. So it's certain publications out there that have ulterior motives. And they're going to be after R. Kelly even when R. Kelly is in his grave, the same as they did Michael. 
I mean, once they got on Michael, like, man, they was like, man, we don't care what the jury say. You guilty. And we're going to call you a pedophile. We're going to tell everybody that you mess with kids. You play with little kids. I do believe that R. Kelly is doing something to them women. I think he laying the hammer. And I think that he got their mind. You know, I, I really do. I think that whatever he doing, you know, he, he got, he getting the cooperation that most men want. Most men would love to have a woman to be able to do what he wanted to do and don't give him any back talk. You know, now if there's some abuse going on, if he beating on the women and, you know, verbally abusing them or whatever and all that kind of stuff, you know, I can see that. But if they, it's, man, it's an old saying, if you like it, I love it. It sounds like to me that these women don't want to be around their family. Some, you know, sometimes family members run off their loved ones. You know, I, and I know there are situations where sometimes people get in folks' minds and they keep them away from their family and all that kind of stuff. But so I'm just looking at the other side of this. Now, I could be totally wrong. I could be 100% wrong. But I'm just looking at it from an objective standpoint. What if the situation is the women just don't want to be around their family members. Maybe mom and daddy didn't do such a good job. And they thought they was going to eat off the daughter. They thought the daughters were going to come up in the music industry. And they were going to be able to eat. But once R. Kelly got a hold to them and they shared their problems with R. Kelly, maybe Kelly was like, look here, man, I got you. Come on over here. You know, I got a house in Atlanta. I got a house in Chicago. You have to share it, but you ain't going to have to worry about bills. You ain't going to have to worry about food. You ain't got to worry about transportation. I got you. Who knows what the truth is? All we can really do is speculate. And I'm just trying to offer a different point of view. Uh, just a different angle to look at it from a different way. I know for those people out there that don't like R. Kelly, any little thing he does, y'all going in. I remember when this first came out, people automatically started talking about underage girls. And uh, here's the thing, all of these women are grown. They're all adults, consenting adults, they can make their own decision. Well, I do believe that they are consenting adults. I don't believe that R. Kelly is holding any group of women against their will. Two houses. Okay, let's say if he was a satanic crazy dude. He was this just wild crazy dude and he had a double life and he had a house where he had a, kept all these women held them against their will. He wouldn't have two. That's just too much damn work, man. That's too much work to keep up with. Too many women. Too many ways to, for your information to get out there and people to rat you out. You know, you got a whole different set of women. That means that, you know, R. Kelly got a tour. Sometimes he gone week at a time, weeks at a time. That means that he would have to have accomplices. Somebody else got to be watching the houses, they got to be standing on guard, making sure the women get fed, making sure they don't try to escape. He got a whole team of anti-escapees in, in, in Chicago, then a whole nother group in Atlanta. He's an international superstar, jet-setting superstar, and he's on television He's on big stages performing, and then he leaves, and then he go feeds his prisoners. I just don't think that R. Kelly is holding these women against their will. 
I do, I do believe that these women are women just, just don't want to be with their families. Hell, I'm not a woman and I don't even want to be around my family sometimes. You know, sometimes people cut their families off. Sometimes people cut their family members off. Now, don't get me wrong. I am aware that there are dudes out there that try to keep women away from their families so that they can control them. I get that. And, you know, I'll be the first one to denounce something like that. But I'm just getting y'all, trying to get y'all to look at, look at it from an objective standpoint, regardless of what you think about R. Kelly. Let's get the facts first. Let's get the facts. But just off top, in my mind, these are consenting adults who can make a decision at any time that they want. Let's say R. Kelly was treating them bad. They still got a right. They still have the power to walk away at any time. They can just walk away. I could be wrong, but I do believe that BuzzFeed is only throwing dirt on R. Kelly's name because they don't like him. They've had it in for him for a while. So I don't believe that the report is sincere. I don't believe that it's objective. I don't believe that R. Kelly has anything to be ashamed of because I don't believe he's guilty. I don't believe he did, he's done anything wrong. I don't believe that the women have anything to be ashamed of because you like who you like, you love who you love, you're around who you want to be around. These are consenting adults who choose to be in a relationship with one another. If anybody should be ashamed, it should be the parents because a parent's number one goal, number one job is to protect their children. That is number one. And by the parents' own admission, they said, well, we knew about R. Kelly's reputation, but we put a child in harm's way anyway or potential danger anyway because we was trying to get to the money. That's what it boils down to. So if anybody should be investigated, it should be the parents. No more talk. What the talking about. Yeah. Order, Texas. Order, Texas.